What's going on everybody? KLOFan93 back here with uh, another video today. Belt related video. Now there's a bunch of these already out there on YouTube, but uh, I'm gonna give my take on it. I'm gonna be putting some side plates on three WWE titles today. We're gonna start with this one. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So before we go any further, if you're watching this hoping to put side plates on your commemorative or Toys R Us championship titles, it's not gonna work. The side plates are not interchangeable. The best way to make them interchangeable is to follow a video tutorial that's on another channel on here where some guy dremeled the plates out, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're gonna risk screwing your belt up. But if you want to, go check that out. Side plates on commemorative titles, but uh, anyway, so all these are replicas, and we're going to be changing them out. So, if you've never done it before, which I know most of you have, but if you've never done it, you get two screws in the middle of the side plates on the back side here. So what you're going to do is pretty simple. A drill or a screwdriver. It's got to be a flathead. Just take those screws out. Okay. I find it a lot faster to do with a drill. If you're careful, you won't have any problems. Or if you're freaking leather, we'll give you the screw. Like mine is not. Got it. Okay. Got the screws there. Set those off to the side, keep them nice and safe. Okay, so now you can see you're left with some blank spaces. So now what you're gonna do is just choose what side plates you're gonna put on here. So I think for this title, we're gonna go with the original side plates that were on it, those being Brock Lesnar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come underneath here, line it up the way I'm doing this. Some little indentions, you just wanna line them up. Get it in there nice and flush. Set it back down. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Okay. Now we're just going to take these screws, we're going to set them right back where they go, so we can screw them back in here in just a second. You don't want to get these too tight because you're going to risk stripping the uh, screw posts or the screws, breaking something. You don't want to do that. Okay. One down. Two to go. So the next one that we're going to do is the Universal. Same basic side plates already on it. So we're just going to take these screws off again, same exact way. And like I said, if you're not experienced with doing this, especially with using a drill, if you've never done that before, don't go fast like I am you could screw something up. I've been taking side plates off, or screws off on belts, period, with a drill for several years. So, I mean, anybody can do it. It's not that difficult. Okay. 
so the ones that are going to go in this build, even though he hasn't won the build, but I do see it coming very soon, we're going to be adding Seth Rollins, mainly because I love Seth Rollins, he's my favorite right now, and because I also don't have Finn Balor plates, which I would love to have. So, we're going to get rid of the universal basic side plates here. Pop Seth Rollins in. Okay, that's one, two. And once again, we're just gonna put the screws right back in their respective homes. And never go fast on this part. Because earlier, you know, I mentioned stripping the screws for the post holes. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So always take it kind of steady whenever you're screwing them back in. Very delicate. Okay. Number two done. So two down, one to go. It's probably a kind of a lengthy video guys, sorry about that, but uh, I do get a lot of people asking questions about that, uh, you know, newcomers in some of the groups on Facebook. I guess they've seen my videos. I'm not sure. So the last belt that we're going to do is this, the 2013 Scratch logo. And what better of a set of plates to put on there than the original ones? The Rock from a Bull. So, repeat the process all over again. stocks out and I do like these stocks I got that little crown on there that's pretty cool version 2 of this build had really nice side plates that were uh, domed out only problem was you could not change them out with other side plates because the screw posts were horizontal or instead of being horizontal they were vertical up and down instead of side to side Okay, we are in business. Okay, almost finished, guys. Sitting like this for this long is really killing me. Maybe the doctor yesterday found out I injured my back. And yet I still continue to contort myself, but hey, whatever. But we are finished. Three down. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys everything real fast. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Try to do a little educational piece for a change. Um, smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you. Drop a comment if you feel the need to do so. 
Subscribe for more just like this. And I'm KOLFAN93, and I'll see you guys next time.